Today we're in Tridelta Meidenshaw in Germany, an amazing lean organization. We've been on Lean Made Simple Tours over 20 times and we've came here today to see how Lean has transformed their organization. So I'm with Stefan Hilmer, the COO of Tridelta Meidenshaw. So Stefan, can you briefly explain what uh, Tridelta Meidenshaw do? We are a manufacturer of surge arresters and our units were used in the energy supply, mainly at substations or transmission line to protect transformers or other devices against lightning strikes and over voltages. I think it's fair to say that you have transformed this company with Lean. What has been the main benefits of Lean for you? Made the biggest benefit right now for our customer is that our lead time is quite short, let's say weeks instead of months. I've been at your morning meeting this morning. What has Lean done for your culture or for your, for your people? A few years ago, it was just a place to work and you were happy to go home. Now it's becoming more and more a family. If you come to our place, you enjoy working here. So I'm in their morning meeting area and I really love this space but what I like most is this table. They've actually made this table out of their own product which connects the product to the culture. Stefan's about to tell us that Lean absolutely works. Tell us about this photograph. This photo is around four years old and uh, three years ago we started Lean and for sure we did the small things, the small improvements every single day. We also implement Lean into our offices, into our planning and also how we manage our orders. This is around 1,000 square meters, which was completely full of unfinished goods. It was around 4 million euro unfinished goods. So here, all these arresters waiting for their accessories. And now we did a very good planning. When the arresters arrive, they got their accessories, they got their wooden box for the packaging, and we packed them and shipped them. The cycle time from start to finish improves from six weeks to two days. Six weeks to two days. Yes. <laughs> so this went from four million euros worth of stock in the before in this photograph down to 50,000. For one of our products, we need to use this porcelain. Yeah. And this was maybe the most hated job in the company. It took a bodybuilder for one hour to produce one of these arresters. We did a lot of improvements, having a gravity feeding cementing system. And now everybody can do this job. And we cut down the time from one hour to 15 minutes. Cut down the person from a bodybuilder to everybody. Anybody and can now do it. How did you start at the very beginning? What's the first few things you done when you started? implementing lean. Due to that we start within COVID, we could not start with a full morning meeting. So I picked out, I think it was 10 people, uh, which is called our power lean team. Yeah, this power lean team become my leaders. And this power lean team is now about 25 persons, which are well educated in lean, and they spread the culture into the company. So we're in the learning club at the minute. You can see all these books behind us here. And we do trainings in a group of 10 people and um, at least two times a week for each group and it's a rolling training so everybody step by step gets this training and once they finish we start with the next one. So one of the things I really love as we're walking around is that Stefan and his team have taken ideas from our factory and implemented them here but not only implemented them they've actually improved it. Once we learned the total ownership system from Seeding Matters we came back and we think about how we can digitalize them because our company is quite big. We just make these cards for total ownership and we know Marcus is responsible for this fire extinguisher. And once you see any problem with that, you can use your smartphone, scan the QR code, it will open a formula in our Smartsheet system. And here you can directly contact Marcus if you see any problem. So this is the total ownership and this is the maintenance card. Exactly. What I really like is that they don't just have total ownership for important things like fire extinguishers. They also have total ownership for things like the plants that they have on the shop floor. And there's also a Kanban level. This is the detail they go to. There's a Kanban level for when to water the plants. And on is a light or a signal system to notify somebody on a production environment when there's a problem. 
and I've never seen an Andon system quite like this before. So this is the Andon light right behind me, but it's connected to a stream deck. So once you push the button on the stream deck, it signals the light. But what do the four different lights mean, Stefan? So the blue light means that this station is currently not in use. Uh, once the worker is working here, he put on the green light, which means the station is in use and everything's fine. Okay. And if you get a problem here, you cannot fix it, they push the yellow light and the Kaizen manager of this department will come here automatically and help them to solve the problem. If they are not able to solve the problem within 10 minutes, it will automatically go to the red light or if the Kaizen manager said, okay, no, I need help from other team members, he can push the button directly. And the best thing is, that everything works with Wi-Fi. So we get automatic information. It now uses around 10 seconds or something. And then I will get a notification on my phone that this station need help. There it is. And I got the notification, the, this station is stopped. And then the red team, which is a dedicated team made by three persons, which is rolling every week, came here to solve the problem. And once this is done, we also use the smart sheet scanning this QR code, which opens up the formula. And in this formula, we put in what was wrong. Ah. And next morning meeting, we discuss about this problem to solve it for the future. Right, so you're tracking all your issues and Everything. tracking your problems. All is yeah. tracked by Smartsheet and it's go directly into the morning meeting. And because it sends you an automatic link, there's no running around looking for a team member or looking no. for a team leader. So everybody can stop the line and say, okay, I need help. So the most efficient companies in the world stop when they have a problem. So this is one of our special products. It will be used from our customers for offshore wind parks. Here we have a very high quality, which we need to achieve. And uh, the surface of these arrestors needs to be 100% perfect. And we are checking every single unit to be spotless. And we also think about how can we improve the documentation of that. So here you can see we have numbers on and we will take pictures of the quality control. Number one, number two, number three, number four. And we're documenting everything with a photo. And how we use this photo is also very interesting because we have a QR code on our papers, which is directly connected to our smart sheet system. Once you open it, it is pre-filled with the order number and then we can upload the photos so we have 100% documentation of our products. And you've been all over the world. What's the benefits of going out to see other lean companies? Yeah, there's a, a beach in the lean world, go and see. And I did it yeah. because it, it helped me a lot to learn as fast as possible. Yeah. So, so many people from our company go and visit Seeding Matters. And uh, we still had a group this week and they were blown away. If you see it and if you feel it, it is much easier to, to understand why we are doing this. And now you're inviting people to come and see your facility. Yes, we did yeah. have uh, some few tours, but we are open for all visitors. I think that's one of the main benefits of tours for us, why we do the Lean Made Simple Tours, is because with people like yourself coming from all over the world and giving us ideas. Yeah, and it also yeah. benefits the people because if the people see that other people come and visit them, they, they feel very engaged. They can share their knowledge and share what they improved. So by redesigning this machine behind me, they were able to increase their production eight times before there was five people doing the previous job, but now there's one person. So it's a two-sided machine. As the machine is making the parts at this side, they're able to load and unload the machine parts at the other side. Stefan, what on earth is this? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a really unemotional product we are producing here. But at the same time, we would like to learn the people here in the production line about flow. When you came here two years ago, there were around 200 pieces of this unit waiting here for the next production step. So I think about how can I explain to the persons here about flow. And I say, okay, I purchased these Furbies. I put it on the last one in line. And I said, just take a look to this cute customer. He's now waiting here for about two or three or four or five days until he goes to the next production step. And we use it as a little fun guiding. So the Furby is the face of the customer. It's a really engaging way to get their team to think about the customer. A key pillar of Lean is respect for people. And we have found the ultimate example right here behind me. 
So just off the production floor is this five-star bathroom and it's unbelievable. So look at the detail, look at the quality. It's like something you would see in a five-star hotel. You can wash your hands here, dry them right here. We've got a nice scent here. We've got music playing, automatically comes on once you come into the bathroom. We've got all the bathroom supplies over here and everything's kanban all organized, all labeled. We've got a 6,000 euro toilet with an automatic lid, Japanese style. It's just incredible that they would go to this level of effort and detail for their employees. And I think it's really obvious that they want to encourage their team to maintain the standards. But I really like these screens they have all around their facility in different places. Is this for the morning meeting? We feel that it's necessary that every department has a separate morning meeting. Right. Because with a group of 10, people are may more engaged to say what's their problem in, yeah. instead of in a way of 100 people listen to them. Every department make a short morning meeting in the department. Afterwards, there's the Kaizen time and thereafter, there's our big morning meeting. These boards are in each department having the same structure like the big morning meeting. We go around our vision, our North Star and what's going on in this department. I think this is maybe my biggest takeaway from this entire tour. This floor system that they have is like a rubber matting that's on the floor. I know how much time I've spent painting floors over and over and over, and it always wears, it never sticks, but this floor is really durable. The forklifts can travel on it. So this floor actually reduces defects to the customer as well, because the forklift used to be traveling on an uneven surface, but since they got that floor, the warehouse and the factory is nice and quiet. It's nice and smooth and there's no defects being passed to the customer. I really like as well how it's all configurable, it's all flexible. You can actually color code different sections of the floor and interchange the part if it gets damaged. So they've got these scooters all around their facility for transporting all the goods around the place. It's actually quite fun as well, but it's a, it's a brilliant improvement. What's going on here is absolutely crazy. I've never seen it before. What they've got at this company is a full-time feel-good manager. So Guts's entire role is to go around ensuring that everybody feels good. I've never seen it before. They've only got 107 or eight people and they've got a full-time person as a feel-good manager. Uh, my job is uh, the safety for the worker and the health for the workers and I think the connection between the boss and the workers. So you're a qualified physiotherapist, but you're also almost a counselor. You talk to people, you get to know their problems. Uh, the people come to me in the morning uh, maybe and I can help uh, in time or uh, they come uh, one time a week. They can, can come to me for uh, prevent. Also, uh, uh, and the, the workers can in working time come to me. Oh, so they can come during working time? Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. So when I first heard about your job today, I thought, oh, that costs a lot of money. But what, what's the benefits to the company? Uh, it's very simple. We cut down the sick uh, days by uh, 50%. And I take it that there's a lower staff uh, turnover as well because people are happier. People can talk about their problems. They can come to you and, and you can, can help them. Yeah, I, I think you, you can see it. If you go, uh, you, you can see the smile in the, in the face of the yeah. workers. And out. Out, 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 out. Out. Okay. <laughs> so as I'm walking around, I'm trying to figure out what are they doing different from other companies? Why are they so successful at Lean? And I think I've finally got the answer. Where we are right now is the Kaizen room. It's where they do all their lean improvements. They've got all the tools they need, all the supplies they need, and they've actually got three dedicated people to support the team with making lean improvements. And I think that's the difference in this company and other companies that try to implement lean. We just have a dedicated team to support the people if they have problems and it's their job. Every single week it change the people. They go through the company and help the people to support. And further to that, they go along the company and try to find failures. Yeah. So uh, we call it bugs. And uh, here you see this door is not looking good. And so they 
put a little sticker on it. Right, so if we're walking around and I see this sticker, I know that's already being dealt with. Somebody has logged this as an improvement suggestion. Very good, and, and it's visual as well. Yeah, yeah. and it's funny. <laughs> and in the dedicated morning meeting of the areas, there is a list of bugs and they talk about this in this meeting, which is directly before the free S time or the Kaizen time. Yeah. And so somebody may don't know what to improve today. So they go to the bucket list and pick something out, improve uh -huh. it, and everybody has something to do in the Kaizen time. So I think it's very evident that Tridelta and Maidenshaw have been really successful at Lean because they went out and brought ideas back from other Lean organizations. And my advice to you is to do the exact same go out and visit other exceptional lean organizations, bring those ideas back and transform your company with lean thinking.